renouveler l'opinion mondiale. Depuis les années 60 du XXe siècle, de nombreuses organisations autochtones se sont créées afin de faire reconnaître leur identité, leurs droits, et pour la mise en place d'enseignements biculturels et de ces services de santé. Peu à peu, ce mouvement a fait d'eux des acteurs à part entière de la scène politique internationale. Il a également contribué à bousculer l'image largement... Euh, <coughs> Ibrahim Djobdi, il a Bororo an Bororo people in Cameroon are among indigenous people. Do indigenous people in Cameroon have some problem? If yes, what else? Yes, I am Bororo, I am indigenous, I am and uh, Bororo people are not only the only indigenous people in Cameroon, there is also the big mess. So the Bororos are the nomadic pastoralists and the big mess are the forest people. Uh, that those are the people who are considered as indigenous people in Cameroon. What are the problems that they are facing? First of all, they are facing a problem of land rights. They have a problem of land because they don't have right to land. They don't own land because that land belongs to the other communities. And the, these communities are always claiming that the land is theirs. Secondly, there is the problem of uh, Illiteracy, education. Yes. They don't have right to education. That is why most of them, over 90% of them, are illiterate, and this is a serious problem for us. Thirdly, they don't. They are not represented in government, uh, in, in decision-making institutions like the parliament, the councils, and the executive. Yes. So since they are not represented, any decision that is taken is always against them, because if you are not there. The, 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 the decisions will not favor you because nobody is arguing for you. Thirdly, there is the, the problem also of, uh, of, 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 of voting. They don't have a voting right because they, because they don't vote. Some yes. of them don't have identity cards. Yes. Yeah, and this is a serious problem. Mm -hmm. They don't have access to amenities like uh, pipe, clean drinking water yes. and, uh, and, and hospitals because they live far away into the either into the forest for the picnics or in the in the in the savanna over the hills for the morals. So it is difficult they, they, they don't have these facilities there. So we need these facilities there because we cannot come down to the villages to meet these facilities because we cannot abandon our cows to come to, to, to these facilities. So we need the government to take these facilities there. Yes, now we are attending a seminar uh, on indigenous people in Central Africa. Do you think this seminar can be helpful to you? Yes, very, very helpful. This seminar, how? Yes, this seminar is organized by the United Nations. The United yes. Nations is the highest body that uh, takes care of human rights and all what not uh, problem between states and so on. And if it is the United Nations that is taking this problem into their hands, it means that we are in good hands because the United Nations now is coming to sensitize because many governments have refused that indigenous people don't does not exist that it, every people there is no people are not marginalized now the united Nations is coming with this seminar to sensitize governments you see many governments from central africa are represented here from burundi from rwanda from congo and so on and with the united Nations now and the representative of indigenous people like us our organizations we will discuss now and dialogue together and find out a solution before when people talk together they will have a solution to these problems.